In this rocky, wave-washed corner of the California coast, researchers are gathering evidence in a marine mystery. They're searching rock by rock and crevice by crevice for starfish. Yep, this guy looks healthy. Normally, many species of starfish thrive in these tide pools. They're an important part of a complex ecological system. Today, however, the researchers can find hardly any of them. So far, we only saw two sea stars here today, and in the past, we saw 145 a year ago at the same exact location. To go from 145 down to two is pretty drastic. Starfish have lived in the oceans for 450 million years, but now they seem to be in trouble. All up and down the Pacific coast, starfish, also known as sea stars, have been dying off in huge numbers and scientists have no idea what's killing them. Divers started noticing large numbers of dead and diseased sea stars in Alaska and British Columbia last June. It's a very widespread phenomenon right now, a, a massive uh, mortality event. Divers say they've seen the disease kill in a matter of hours. It starts off with like a little white lesion usually and then basically they get deflated and their arms just come off and kind of creep away from them. So at the worst state, you'll see like four or five arms that have obviously spread away from the center of the body. Scientists believe that some sort of virus or bacteria is killing the sea stars, but they're baffled by why the animals have suddenly become so susceptible to the infection. Pete Raimondi is the top marine biologist at UC Santa Cruz. Given that it's a pathogen, given that it leads to death, given that it has consequences on the community, why now and why where? And that is trying to figure out why this pathogen has either become virulent now, having been here before, or why it has moved here from wherever it was before. Possible causes include man-made chemicals, ocean acidification, wastewater discharge, or warming oceans due to man-made climate change. Scientists say they aren't ruling anything out. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, Palos Verdes, California.